All right. Good morning. Uh-oh. We got some stuff that has fallen down. Where did it go? Let's see here. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I don't know where my Monday went. Well, good thing we don't need it today. Good morning. Welcome to Camp Kindergarten. I'm going to get my Facebook feed open and we will get on with our morning. Thank you very much for all of the well wishes. I am feeling a lot better today and my eyeball is feeling better even though it's still red. Um, you'll probably see me in my glasses for quite some time until my eye fully heals. Um, and you'll notice that um, Kinsey and Walter are not with me today, right here. They are with their dad. We figured that it would be best um, for them to not be near because my eye germs are contagious for a certain amount of time. Contagious means that if I were to touch my eyes and then give them a hug or pick up this pen and then one of them picks up this pen and touches their eyes, then they could get these eye germs too. So we just figured it'd be best until I am not contagious, which will be probably around 12 o'clock today, um, for them to be with their dad. So they are not with me this morning, so you just get me and we will do our camp kindergarten and have a good time. So let me see who all is tuning in today. There we go. And we'll get some good mornings in order. So here we go. Good morning, Arabella and Emma and Nora and Keely and Bryce and Vital. I think I pronounced that right. Vit, Vit, Vital. I'm working on it. Um, good morning, Sakshi and Caroline and Lila and Hadassah and Hanaya and Kashav and Lily Jo, Hazel and Izzy and Addie and Charlie and Ezra and Jacob and Arav and Francesca and Declan and Maddie and Nadia and Tegan and Etta and Jude and Lizzie and Harrison and Annabelle and James and Riley and Skeeter and Maggie and Ryan Marie. Good morning to all of you who are watching. I hope you all are doing well. It's a beautiful day here in Lake Bluff. Um, I think it's going to be a great day to get outside with some fresh air. So let's all see how we are feeling today with a little good morning song. Are you feeling mad? Are you feeling surprised? Are you feeling tired? Or are you just feeling fine?
today we're going to start our day off with a song and um, because of the germs in our house I figured it might be a good day to do a Miss Megan original got my mask on because let me tell you yesterday I thought you know what I'm gonna wear my mask during the day in my house because I don't want any of my germs to get spread throughout the house because we knew that I had some eye germs going on. So I wore my, my mask in the house. All right, here we go. The mask song found on music platforms under the album name, Miss Megan's Camp Kindergarten, Volume 1, and under the artist name, Meg N. Doug. Oh yeah, there are lots of comments. I'm sorry, you guys. Hold on. Do the mask on in a minute. I need to get caught up on hellos. My my uh, comments like paused, and so just a second ago there were only 43, and now there's 99. So let me get a couple more hellos out there. Um, Wendy and John, good morning. Elsa, Robbie, good morning. Elijah and Emma and Maddie and Ellie and Annie and Leo. And I hope you get a drink of water, Leo. And Abby and Caitlin and Isla and Camila and Lila. And Gracie and Brianna and Kenzie. Oh, Kenzie, I know. I'm feeling tired. I get it. Good morning, Silvio and Mommy. Good morning, Samantha and Addison and Amoira and Adrian and Emma. Grace and Olivia, Emma and Wyatt. I'm glad you got up just in time. Good morning, Jasmine, Owen and Vivian, Jocelyn, uh, Anna, Kate and Laura. All right. I feel like there are more, but I don't know why I can't see them all. Um, if you said good morning, please know that I say good morning back to you, even though I can't see them all, which I'm not sure why. Let me see if I can figure that out. I'm going to get out of here. Here we go. All right. Get ready for the mask song, because we're going to do that next. Did I just say 104? Oh, my goodness. Good morning, Mason and Millie and Jacob and... Can't I see all the? For some reason, my um, my comments aren't working very well today, and I can't see all of the comments that have been have been sent. So I will just do my best. All right, let's do the mask song. Are you ready? If you don't know the mask song, it is about wearing masks. And I created this song back in ooh, March or April, right when everybody was starting off being at home and not really understanding why we need to wear a mask. Called Got My Mask On.
job. That is the mask song. Got my mask on. A Miss Megan original. Oh, I found my other, um, Monday. All right, let's move right along and do our months of the year. Let's see here. Good morning, Asher and Mason and Reese and Nikki. Here we go, point you guys all up there. All right, are you ready? This is frustrating that I can't see all these comments. All right. Okay. Here we go. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. January, February, March, April, May. We go outside and play, play, play. June, July. August and September, back to school, so we remember October, November, and December. We know our months, so we end the song here. We know our months, so we end the song here. Very nice job. Now, Kinsey always loves to do my cha-cha-cha, but she's not here today, so we are going to do a different um, days of the week. We are going to do... The days of the week song, okay? So, let us get ready to sing our days of the week song. Good morning, Adeline and Ryu and Kai and Parker. Good morning, good morning. All right. It goes like this. Here we go. Days of the week. 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 Of the week. Here we go. There's... Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week, 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 very nice job. All right, you know what, since Kinsey's not here, let's do the Sunday Monday song too. This one we sway each side. So, here we go. Sunday, Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Very nice job. Now, hmm, yesterday we did not uh, do the calendar. So we need to fill in a day for yesterday. And today it looks like it is the first day of Hanukkah. So if you celebrate Hanukkah, happy Hanukkah. All right, today we're gonna to put in the number nine for yesterday. And today, if number nine was for yesterday, can you see that? Yes, you can. Um, what number will we put in for today? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna put a ten in. And that means if we pull our finger up, today is what day of the week? If you saw that there's a TH at the beginning and TH says, then we know that today is Thursday. Now, which one of these matches Thursday? This does not match Thursday. That, nope. Ooh, that one starts with a T. What is the second letter H? Mm -mm. All right, here we go. Here is Thursday. So we're gonna put that up there where it says today is. Today is Thursday. All right, now, if today is Thursday, what was yesterday? Which way are we going to go for yesterday? Are we going to go to the left or are we going to go to the right? Good job. If you said left, well, let's move that way. To the left, to the left. And yesterday was, what letter does that start with? W and W says what? So if W says what, then yesterday was Wednesday. Very good. Put that up there. And if today is Thursday, what will tomorrow be? Tomorrow will be a day that starts with the letter F. And what sound does F make? So if you know that F makes a sound, Tomorrow will be Friday. Very good. All right, repeat after me. That means I go first and you go second. Today 
is Thursday. Your turn. Today is Thursday. My turn. Yesterday was Wednesday. Your turn. Yesterday was Wednesday. My turn. Tomorrow will be Friday. Your turn. Tomorrow will be Friday. Very good job. All right. Okay. Let's refresh that and see if we get more comments that show up. Because I do see that there are more comments, but I can't I see the number rising, but I can't see the new comments. So, um, good morning, Josie and Eliza. All right, we are going to move right along. And I'm going to scoot you over a little bit so that you can see the um, calendar and the weather area. Should be a little bit better. All right. So we just talked about how we put in the number 10. What, what two numbers make up the number 10? We have a one and a zero. A one we say start at the top and down we run. That's the way we make a one. And the zero we say around and around and around we go. That's the way we make a zero. And this pattern is a little bit tricky to see, I think, but it goes dark, light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, light. We can also use our voices as a pattern. So let's count and we're going to use our voices and we're going to go high, low, high, low, but we're going to say the numbers. So help me out. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Eight, nine, ten. Very nice job. If today is the tenth day of December, what number will tomorrow be? Very good. You said eleven. Nice job. All right. We are going to move along and see what the weather is. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it snowy out today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it cloudy? Is it windy? Is it foggy out today? What is the weather like where you are? Now let's hope that our comments work because, you know what, I'm just going to get out of Facebook and get back in it. Maybe that will help. It always seems to be... Um, a solution to the problem is turn something off and turn it back on. So, because I want to hear what the weather is like where you are, and if my comments aren't working, then I can't figure out what the weather is like where you all are. So, let's see here. My video. Today is Thursday. Yep, okay. Clicked on that. There we go. I think we're back in a back in back in order. All right. Let's see here. Uh-oh. Um, Chris, I just don't see you. I can't see your comment. Um, it looks like Wells and Kinsey are watching, but, um, oh, now I get it. Kinsey, I will see you in about three hours, okay? So get excited, all right? Kinsey and Wells are watching from another spot and Kinsey is sad that she can't see me. So I'll give you big hugs, hugs to you and smooches. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, and Kinsey, you can always give Rafferty a little hug and I can feel it, okay? All right, it is sunny and cold in Ohio. Ohio is this blue state over here. It is also sunny and cold in South Carolina, the red state right here. So, hold on, I'll get back to it in a minute. It is sunny and cold, another sunny and cold in Indiana. That Indiana is Illinois, the neighbor of Illinois. Mia says it's cloudy and cold outside of Boston, Massachusetts. This tiny little state over here that's purple. And cold in Miami. Arr, Miami is in Florida, which is this green state that sticks down right here. It is cold and sunny where we are. So we're going to fill in cold and 
should we add today? If we weren't, if we didn't add our straw for yesterday, but we need to add a straw for today, very good. We need to add two straws today. So which cup are we going to add our straw to? Our straws to? Are we going to add it to the hundreds cup? No. Are we going to add it to the tens cup? No. Are we going to add it to the ones cup? Good. We're going to add both of these straws to the ones cup. So now we need to check out. Oh, I need to pull this down a little bit more. I don't think you can see everything. Here we go. Now we need to talk about how many days we've been in camp kindergarten. So some of these got a little mixed up. Tens. One, two, three, four, six. There are six tens in there. And We'll figure that one out in a minute. There are two ones. All right. So do we have any hundreds? We do not. How many tens do we have in here? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six. So we need to change this number into a number six. And there's a six. A six, we say. A line and a loop. Mr. Six, roll the hoop. Very good job. And how many ones did we say that we had in here? One, two. So we need to find our two. And then we'll be able to see the big number. So let's count and find out how many days we have been in camp kindergarten. All right. See if I can hold this. Oh yeah. Okay. Are you ready to help me count? I'm gonna start with our tens. 10, 20, 25, 30, 40, 45, 60. Now we're on to our ones. 61, 62. 62 days. What does a 62 look like? A six and a two, a line and a loop, Mr. Six rolls a hoop, and a two, around and back on the railroad track. Two, two, two. Very nice job. Now, we need to add, oh, we need to add quite a few body parts to clear out the Compton Caterpillar because we haven't added them in a few days. So, I see that up on Clara, the last number that we put up is a 59. So we need to put up the numbers 60, 61, and 62. So let me add a little tape to those and I'll put them up and then we will count. Okay? We will count and see how many body parts Clara, the county caterpillar, has. All right. that there are more comments but they are just not coming through very quickly. All right, we're going to add our 60, 61, and 62. It's sunny and cold in Delaware. It's cold and cloudy in Pennsylvania. Sunny and windy in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. See, I have to keep going out of Facebook and going into Facebook because the comments are not Connecticut, that's another one that I haven't seen. The comments are not, um, they're not appearing in real time. So, I'm not sure why. But, 
the show must go on, right? So we're not going to worry about that too much. And after we're done with Clara the Counting Caterpillar, we are going to sing another song before we move on to our uh, message for today. All right. I'm going to add my 60, 61, and 62, and then we will count together in our silly, silly voices. And don't worry, kids, we will end with our normal voice. Okay. Here we go. Put you guys up here so you can see Clara the Counting Caterpillar. All right, are you ready to help me count? Look at how long she goes. All the way down. All the way, that's how many days we've been in school. Look at her over there, over the door. Okay, are you ready to help me count? Here we go. We're going to start with a really deep voice. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to do our robot voice. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now we're going to do a really high voice. 21. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Now we're going to do a really silly voice. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. I got to scooch over. Where were we at? 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Hmm. Now, we are going to do a very soft and soothing voice. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. And we're going to end with our normal voice. 61, 62. 62 days in camp. Kindergarten, my goodness, that is a lot of days. All right, let me put you down here. And we are gonna, I'm going to scoot back over and we're going to sing another song. Hmm. There we go. All right. Scoot over there and up like that. Very good. All right. Did I put the right numbers up? Yes, I did. Okay. Grab this. Grab my guitar. And grab my songbook. All right. Refreshing the feet doesn't work. That is a complete fail. Ooh, I did it again. Put my pick somewhere. I didn't put it back where I should have. And now it's not there. So. Oh, it is there. It was hiding. It was hiding. My pick was hiding in my strings. How silly is that? All right. Let us sing. Let's sing a song we haven't sung in a long time. I am feeling. A uh, raffy song. We've not done this one in a while. And it's a silly song, and it's fun, and it's called Down by the Bay. And there's some silly things happening down by the bay. Let's see if you can help me out. Let's see.
driving a boat down the Verses to that song, like, hmm, have you ever seen a frog um, uh, hugging a hog? That would be a silly one, right? What about a, a cat? Um, have you ever seen a cat wearing a hat? That could be another one, right? So you can always come up with your own verses uh, for uh, that song. All right, moving right along. It is time for our message. And Kinsey loves our friend who's helping us today. And Kinsey, can you tell me through the phone who it is? That's right. It's Kermit. Hello guys. How's it going? Well, hi there, Kermit. It's nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. I missed you yesterday. I know, I know. I missed you too, but, um, I'm feeling a lot better today, and my eye feels much better, and I think we're back in business. Oh, that's so great to hear. Can I help you with the message today? Sure, you can help me with the message. Okay, everybody, listen up. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Repeat after me. Dear class. Dear class. Today is Thursday, December 10th, 2020. Today is Thursday, December 10th, 2020. Kenzie, Kieran, Kishaw, and Kate all begin with the letter K. That's a long sentence, but there's some names in there. Did you hear yours if your name was up here? Kenzie, Kieran, Kishaw, and Kate all begin with the letter K. Kinsey can jump like a kangaroo. Kinsey can jump like a kangaroo. Can you? Can you? Love Miss Megan. Love Miss Megan. Kinsey can jump like a kangaroo. Can you, Kermit? Frank, Frank. Of course I can because I'm a frog and frogs are really great at jumping. Oh, well. That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? All right. We need to find all of our capital letter Ks. Let's have um, an example, again, of what a capital letter K looks like. All right. I have my J on here from the other day that I'm going to erase. 
and put some new lines on so we can see a capital letter K. There we go, that's good enough. We start, where do we start our capital letter K? What line do we start our capital letter K at? We start our capital letter K at the sky, the fence, or the ground. If you said the sky, great job. The capital letter K, if you don't have a pencil or a paper, you can just write them in the air, okay, with your finger, like this. Boop, boop, boop. A capital letter K starts at the sky and goes vertical line down to the ground. Lift your finger or marker or whatever it is you're writing with up, put it back at the sky, and do a diagonal into the fence. Diagonal down to the ground. Capital letter K. Let's see here. Let's all try that one more time. Start at the sky. Pull your marker or your whatever you're writing with vertical line down to the ground. Put it back at the sky and do a vertical line or a four, ugh, a diagonal line into the fence, a diagonal line out to the ground. Very good job. All right, <laughs> a frog reading a blog, that's kind of funny. Okay, a lower, let's find all of our capital letter K's, okay? So here's how I'm going to do that. I'm gonna go word by word looking for this. So I don't see it here, or here, or here. Hmm, I'm going through each of my words looking for the capital letter K. Oh, I found one, I'm gonna circle it. I'm gonna kind of circle the eye in there. Boop. Um, all right, let's go to the next word. Oh, I found another one. And go to the next word. Oh, there's another one. There's lots of capital letter K's in this message. Capital letter K, there's another one. Hmm, let's keep going. Any more capital letter K's? Oh, there's a K. Is that a capital letter K? Nope. Oh, there's another one. I see more K's, but they are not capital. Very good. Okay, how many capital letter K's did we find? Can I please help you count? Of course you can help us count. Okay, everybody, are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. There are five capital letter K's. You're right, Kermit. There are five capital letter K's. Let's make uh, the number five down here. And how do we make a five? We say, Fat Mr. Five goes down and around. Put a hat on top and see what you found. My markers aren't. That is how we make a five. Markers are kind of. I said I was going to do that the other day and then I forgot. I'm going to add these more markers to my wish list. Okay, very good. Let's look for the lowercase letter K is and a lowercase letter K is very similar to a capital letter K. We start at the sky. We do a vertical line down to the ground. But instead of coming up to the sky, we start at the fence. We do a vertical line, uh, horizontal line. <laughs> My brain is a little foggy right now. What is a horizontal line? What is a vertical line? And what's a diagonal line? I think we need to play some Simon Says here in a second. All right. Vertical line from the sky to the ground. Then we come to the fence and do a diagonal line in, diagonal line out. Lowercase k. Okay, let's find our lowercase k's. And after we're done with that, we'll do a quick game of Simon Says. Okay, I'm here to help. Let's find all of those lowercase k's. All right, we go word by word looking for lowercase k's. So far, I do not see any lowercase k's. So far, I've only seen capital letter K's. Aha! Here's a lowercase k. I'm going to circle it. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Ooh, look it. This one's tricky. It's in the middle of a word. Lowercase k. Boop. And another lowercase k. All right. I think we have them all. Kermit, how many lowercase k's do we have? Hmm. Let's all count together. One, two, three. There are three lowercase k's. And how do, that's right. How do we make a, a tree? Well, we say around a tree, around a tree. That's the way we make a three. A 
around a tree, around a tree. That's the way we make a tree. Let's all count how many letter K's there are all together. Capital plus lower case. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight K's in our message. How do we make an eight, Kermit? Well, you say, make an S and don't be late. Hurry back up and make an eight. That's right. Make an S. Don't be late. Hurry back up and make an eight. Let's say our math equation together. Five plus three equals eight. Can you all say that? Five plus three equals eight. Very good job. All right, quick game of Simon Says. Everybody ready? Put your markers and your crayons and everything down and get ready. If you would like to stand up, stand up. I'm going to stay seated right here. Okay, remember, show me a vertical line. Not, we haven't started yet. Show me a vertical line. Great. Show me a horizontal line. Very good. And show me a diagonal line. It can go this way or it can go this way. All right, are you ready for a game of Simon Says? Here we go. Simon says horizontal line. Simon says vertical line. Simon says diagonal line. Simon says diagonal line. Simon says vertical line. Horizontal line. Ooh, Simon didn't say horizontal line. All right, good. Let's do another one. Shake it out. Bloop, 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 bloop. Okay. Simon says diagonal line. Simon says vertical line. Simon says horizontal line. Simon says diagonal line. Simon says vertical line. Simon says horizontal line. Vertical line. Simon didn't say vertical line. All right, shake that one out. Last one, we're going to do a turbo speed. Really, really, really fast. You be paying attention. Ready? Here we go. Simon says vertical line. Simon says horizontal line. Simon says vertical line. Simon says horizontal line. Simon says diagonal line. Simon says diagonal line. Vertical line! Simon didn't say vertical line. Good job. All right. Let us move along and we're going to read a story. Don't worry, kids. I'm saving. So we have this book that we were going to read uh, like two days ago. But Kinsey wants to be part of reading this book. So Kins, I saved this book for tomorrow for when you are back with us. So today we are going to read this book called One Snowy Night. All right. Yep. Okay. One Snowy Night by M. Christina Butler and Tina McNaughton. One Snowy Night. Look at that. He's wearing a red hat on his head. So, I wonder what's going to happen in this book. Hmm, let's see. One Snowy Night. Oh, the pictures are by Tina McNaughton. If the pictures are by Tina McNaughton, what does that mean? It means she is the author or the illustrator? The illustrator. Very good. Which is a little closer so you can see better. The cold wind woke Little Hedgehog from his deep winter sleep. It blew his blanket of leaves high into the air and he shivered in the snow. He tried to sleep again, but he was much too cold. Suddenly, something fell from the sky. Thud. It landed right in front of his nose. It was a present. And it had his name on it. It says, to Little Hedgehog, with love, from Father Christmas. Little Hedgehog opened the present as fast as he could. Inside was a red woolly hat, hedgehog size. He put it on at once. He pulled it to the back. He pulled it to the front. He pulled it one side, then the other. But it didn't matter how he stretched it to fit. His prickles got in the way every time. By now, that hat was much too big for a little hedgehog. He took it off and stared at it, until at last, he had an idea. He gave the hat a shake and wrapped it up again. He ripped a piece of the label and wrote on the rest. Then, he ran to Rabbit's house. Rabbit was out, so he left the present on his doorstep. Well, that sure was nice of Hedgehog, wasn't it? 
Hedgehog decided that he couldn't wear it anymore because he had pulled on it too much that it now didn't fit his head, so he's going to give it to somebody else who might want it or need it. It was snowing hard, and Little Hedgehog tried to find his way back home. The snowflakes flew all around him. He wasn't sure which way to go. Oh, dear, oh, dear, he said as he wandered to and fro. I shouldn't have come out in this weather, but I know Rabbit will be happy to have a nice woolly hat to wear. Too much snow, said Rabbit, rushing home. He saw the present lying on his doorstep. What's this? He squeaked with delight, ripping off the paper. A woolly hat, he cried, for me? He put it on at once. He tried it with his ears inside and then outside. He pulled it this way and he pulled it that way, but it didn't matter how he stretched it to fit. His ears got in the way every time. By now, the hat was much, much bigger. It was much too big for a rabbit. Rabbit wrapped up the hat once again and wrote on the corner of the label. Then he went to visit Badger. The cold weather made Badger very grumpy. Merry Christmas, Badger, shouted Rabbit. Who's there, growled Badger. Merry Christmas, repeated Rabbit, giving him the present. A Christmas present, said Badger, for me. Badger pulled the hat on. He pulled it down over his ears. How about that, he said, looking in the mirror. Very nice, said Rabbit. What did you say, said Badger. Very nice, yelled Rabbit, hopping off. Don't you like it, asked Badger, turning around, but Rabbit had gone. Badger took the hat off. I can't use this hat, he said. I can't hear a thing. Too bad. It's such a nice color. So, what do you think Badger did? Very good. Badger wrapped up the present and marched off to Fox's house. He didn't use a label. Fox was going out exploring. Here you are, friend, said Badger merrily. A Christmas present just for you. Christmas, snapped Fox, puzzled. Yes, Christmas, called Badger. Time to be nice to each other, and he trudged home. A hat, sneered Fox, opening the present. Why would I want a hat? Then he looked at the hat again. He made two holes for his ears and put it on. Satisfied, he went on his way. Was Fox being very grateful of the present that Badger had given him? No, he wasn't. He was not being very grateful. Let's see, what do you think might happen to Fox, with Fox? I don't know. Let's see. The white fields twinkled in the moonlight. Fox sniffed around and found a small trail. He followed it this way and followed it that way until suddenly it stopped. There was something under the snow. Fox dug and dug until he found a small hedgehog. It was cold and did not move. Poor little guy, said Fox. He put the hedgehog inside the red woolly hat and carried it to Rabbit's house. Rabbit and Badger were having supper. Look what I found in the snow, cried Fox, bursting in. They all looked into the hat. A hedgehog, said Badger. What's a hedgehog doing out at Christmas time? He should be fast asleep. It's my friend, little hedgehog, cried Rabbit. He must have gotten lost going home in the snow. Little hedgehog opened his eyes. Hello, he said sleepily. Oh, this is such a lovely warm blanket. So what has happened so far? Who started off with this beautiful hat? It was Hedgehog, and he passed it along, and what did it end up happening? It ended up coming back to him and used in a different way. The friends all looked at each other. Rabbit grinned, and Fox scratched his head. Hmm, said Badger, I think this woolly hat is just right for Little Hedgehog. Merry Christmas, Little Hedgehog, they all cried. But Little Hedgehog was fast asleep. The end. I think this is a great story of what goes around comes around, right? Hedgehog decided to be very kind. He, the hat didn't work for him in the way that he thought it, it should on his head. So he passed it along. To each, he passed it along to Rabbit, and then Rabbit passed it along to um, Badger, and then Badger passed it along to Fox, and nobody could use it, and then it ended up going back to Hedgehog as a blanket. Great story, right? All right. It is time for a, and an and an analogy, and I want to do um, a little bit of our nonsense first, because we have not done that yet. All right, I'm gonna find a good one. Oh, 
this is a good one. Okay, I need to cover up some of these. So, we'll cover up the top. And cover up. Mm. If I had some paper, that would be great, but I don't have paper, so I'll use a whiteboard. Okay. Take a look at what I have here. You know what? I'll do this one on the board. I think this one's easy to do on the board. Much better. Okay. Today's analogy, which we have not done an analogy in quite some time, so this is a good refresher for us. All right. Today's analogy, we have a square. A square has four equal sides. A square is two, remember four, just like a triangle, a triangle has three sides, is two what? Hmm. An analogy compares things together. So for example, a square and the number four go together, and a triangle and this goes together. So why, what is the relationship between a square and the number four? Hmm. That's right. A square has one, two, three, four sides. So, what do you think? Here are your choices. Three, two, five, and six. What do you think is the best choice to put on this line here? There are one, two, three, four sides to a square, just like there are how many sides to a triangle? One, two, three. If you said three, very good. The answer is three. So let's read that together. Square is to four as triangle is to three. Your turn. Square is to four as triangle is to three. Very good. All right, now we're going to do a couple of nonsense words and then our time is going to be up. We have not done nonsense words in a while. So today's category is things we eat, okay? So I'm gonna say a silly word that doesn't make sense, and you're gonna repeat that word and say, for example, if I said, mm, if I said, banana, you're gonna say, banana, not banana, banana, okay? So let's try another one. Let's try, uh, let's try, George. You're gonna say. George, not George, orange. Okay, let's try. Here we go. I think we did this one already. Bapple. And then you say, Bapple, not Bapple, Apple. Very good. Ooh, this one's fun. Mucky. <laughs> You're going to say, Mucky, not Mucky, Cookie. Very good. All right, this one's kind of tricky. Voop. And you're going to say voop, not voop, soup. <laughs> Good job. Ooh, this one's also tricky. Ready? Ghost. And you're going to say ghost, not ghost, toast. Mm, that sounds good right now. Ooh, I had this for breakfast. My turn. Coat meal. You're going to say coat meal, not coat meal, oatmeal. Very good. Two more. Nup cake. <laughs> You're going to say nup cake, not nup cake, cupcake. Very good. And I'm the last one I'm going to say is popcorn. You're going to say popcorn, not popcorn, popcorn. Very good. Those are fun. We can do that again tomorrow. All right. That, my lovely students, is all we have time for. Today, so we have. Uh oh, I lost. I lost a uh, a lens to my silly birthday sunglasses. Ooh. All right, we have one birthday that I know of today, and it is Neil's birthday. 
Happy birthday, Neil, who is turning five. If it is your birthday, happy birthday. Let's all sing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday if it's your birthday. Happy birthday to you. All right. Thank you for joining me today. Um, we should be back to normal tomorrow. Kinsey will be here. We'll do our voting on our letter K words. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful day. So remember that what makes you different is what makes you beautiful. Always try your best to be kind and choose your attitude. I will see you tomorrow. Toodaloo.